you could be the coldest person on the planet. Like I've seen guys who are um who are very cold men, um, women who are very cold, turn into babies as soon as somebody in their family dies. And and actually people get shocked when they see that emotional side in people who they consider to be cold. And the reason why that is, is because a lot of the times we are not, we're not in touch with our emotional self, right? When things are great, when there's no emergencies, when you could predict things, there's no need to get emotional. The only time when people truly get emotional is when there are, something's happening that, that they cannot control or they cannot predict, right? And usually it's an emergency, right? The brain gets hijacked by the amygdala when things happen that are outside of their control, okay? Like, and, and the way that the brain proclaims an emergency is by when they're going to lose something that it values, right? So that means if you could be calm, as soon as you think you might lose your job, you'll notice your emotions become more nimble. It's like wax that gets heated up. It becomes more malleable, right? And so what you want to be able to do with this video is that we're, what we're doing is hijacking their brain through these simple psychological strategies. Why? Because the amygdala literally hijacks your frontal cortex whenever there's an emergency or whenever you feel there's a threat or whenever you feel that there's something of high value. You become myopic, your desires and your fears narrows the scope of your vision, and you become obsessed about focusing on this one thing that's either threatening you like a disease or stuff like that or a value okay like you meet someone you really like them and you get really emotional okay so these are things that everyone is susceptible to no matter how cold they are these strategies work now will it work in terms of making them emotional to make them love you maybe not what it will do though it will make them emotional so if they do love you but it's being suppressed because of routine because of your predictability, because of your lack of threat, right? Um, because of, 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 of their ability to be able to, to predict your actions, those emotions that are only there when they feel threatened will not arise because they feel secure, right? You make them feel too secure. You make them feel like you're never gonna leave. And that makes them lazy, especially with people who who like you but don't really like you, right? So these strategies, I've seen it work on me, I've seen it work on multiple people because humans are humans, okay? Um, now look, um, essentially what tends to happen is that two things hijack the brain, emergencies. Well, actually the one thing that hijacks the brain is fear. Out of all emotions, fear. And this hijacking happens instantaneously before the, new, before, before the neocortex realizes what's happening. In other words, you think everything's going great, and then all of a sudden, the person who you thought will always be there pulls, leaves you, for example, right? And that's something that you don't predict, you don't see coming. And so what that does is that you can't, you don't even process it. You feel a surge of emotions that your brain doesn't have time to process it. So you start acting without thinking. And that's when people start to make mistakes. And the number one mistake is that people start to show their emotions because people do make, people put a high conscious effort to hide how they feel. Like humans are good at that. They know how to hide their emotions, right? And so what you want to be able to do is, is allow that mask to break, the veneer to break off of them. And these are the strategies, right? Um, so remember, threats, two things create emotional responses, a threat and something unexpected, right? It's like a knockout, right? Knockouts that, that knock you, punches that knock you out are punches you just don't see coming, right? And so that's why it's so important to develop a little bit of unpredictability in your in your behavior, in your actions, because by you not having and uh, by you not developing unpredictability or consciously learning to scramble your patterns. Right. You keep you, you keep people in a secure state, which is nice. But the problem with that, some people, when they feel that secure state, they just take it for granted. They need a little bit of that hint of threat to keep them at an emotional threshold where they could possibly realize the intense emotions that they feel for you. But if you are not, if you are way too predictable all the freaking time, they're never really going to feel those emotions that usually only come out when they're threatened. And usually when you meet someone that you really like, 
there is a level of insecurity that makes you feel threatened at the thought that maybe this person might leave me. And because I like them so much, it's going to hurt a lot. So, but so that creates an emotional response where when they're around you, they look at you with more intensity. When they listen to you, they listen to you with more intensity because their emotions are more involved. They do not want to lose you. By the way, if you're watching this video and you're dating someone and they're cold as balls with you, they're just cold motherfuckers, man. And you want to make sure and you want to find out how they feel about you. You want to get them to open up a little bit more. What you have to do is book a call with Father Alex. Talk to me on the phone. I'll be able to listen to your situation and see what you're doing wrong to make them cold, right? Because sometimes we are over pursuing people. We are doing too much. We are talking too much. We are opening up a little bit too soon, right? And what happens is that when you do that, it makes people pull away just a little bit more. So sometimes you're doing that and you think you're doing what my videos say, but you're actually not. And you need to literally explain to me what you're doing. And you'd be surprised how often you're not doing what the videos say. <laughs> like I talk to many people, they think they're applying it. And I'm like, no, you're not. Like, don't put my name on this. Like, do this instead. And when they hear like from me, exactly what to do, especially when they're dating someone who's cold as hell, um, they realize that they were doing it wrong, like consistently. So please, um, you have blind spots and Father Alex can illuminate your mind from those blind spots and help you see what you're doing wrong and what to do correctly in your situation. Because a surgeon can't do surgery on itself. You need somebody else to from another point of view, okay? So if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can book a 30, 40, 50, um, 10 minute call with me by clicking the description down below. I'll be available this week and I, and it will be me. It won't be an AI. It won't be my assistant. Like some people do. It will be straight from father Alex. Okay. You can even do a video call to just confirm. Okay. Let's continue with the video. The first thing is inconsistency. Like I said, scramble your patterns from time to time. The reason why is because it pisses people off. Right. Um, and, and, and what I, and what I mean by inconsistency is that you, sometimes you become elusive. Right. Um, and the way that you do that is that you just have a life. Um, there are moments, days and weeks throughout the year where some people just cannot see you, where you are genuinely busy. And because people are naturally insecure, they're going to assume that maybe it's because of them. Maybe it's because they did something. Maybe it's because you're getting turned off. Truth of the matter is that you could try to convince them that the reason why you're pulling away is because of work. Right. Honestly, you could really even show them evidence. But a part of them just cannot help but feel doubtful, a little bit of doubt, right? And that doubt creates, splits them up inside because a part of you says, okay, you're saying the truth, but then I just feel there's something off. And that leaks emotions that allows people to feel certain levels of insecurities, allows people to feel certain emotions that they usually just wouldn't feel on a regular basis, right? And that inconsistency will create a desire to hold you down a desire to create consistency is especially when you cancel right um when you cancel it it, it it pisses people off but also it lowers their self esteem not not forever right because that's it lowers your self esteem so that you could chase after them it's an evolutionary thing but what happens though is that when the self esteem lowers emotions intensify jealousy intensify low, um, um um impatience intensify anger imp intensify low self esteem imp uh, um intensifies envy intensifies sadness intensifies anger intensifies it just allows you to see their emotions in their face a little bit more and you'll notice that when you see them because you were in consistency you notice there's a laser focus on you again intense getting people to open up emotionally is not about getting them to talk it's literally about seeing the emotions in their face and in their actions and last but not least competition um, i show videos about this how guys who play basketball um um, and there's nobody waiting to get next, meaning like if I lose, somebody's going to take my place. When there's nobody waiting to get next, what you notice is that guys play with less intensity. Guys are less competition. There's less energy. There's less emotion. And also there's less reaction to losing. As soon as somebody walks in and says, hey, man, I got next, you'll notice all of a sudden everyone looks and like, ah, we're clamping up. All of a sudden people start playing harder. People start arguing more. People start fighting. Like, <clears throat> The game intensifies when there's competition. And that's because in, in the sexual market value place, you call that being in a sexually competitive state where if other people see, if you see other people wanting what you want, you get emotional, you get possessive, you get jealous, and you start to self-reflect that maybe 
I got to try a little harder. You start to get jealous. Your ego gets involved. And naturally, it just makes you more emotional. If you lose, you feel that low sense of self-esteem. And what happens is that these spikes in emotions leak in your nonverbal cues. These spikes in emotions leak in the way you text, in the way you talk. You talk more. You respond faster. You put more words. You put more words into your words and actions. And all of these things intensify the experience of being with you. And what you'll notice is that when you do these these things people just get more emotional and they open up and a lot of times people will even like if they genuinely like you this will increase a their the the gen the 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 realness behind how they feel about you in other words if they like you like you for real you apply these strategies they will like you more now, if you apply these strategies and they like you superficially, yeah, they're going to like you more, but it's not really going to affect the long term, um, the long term, um, uh, what do you call it? The long term future with them. This is just a temporary spike in emotion, but it works really well when people really like you. Um, and like I said, this has been done to everyone. I, If you really think about it, these are the things that get you emotional. And honestly, if you do this to someone and they don't get emotional, they don't like you. That's what that means. It's not the Father Alex doesn't know what he's talking about. It just means I don't like you and you have to accept that. Okay? Anyways, take care. So these are some of the things that you guys can do, right? One, walking away. Walking away is literally the number one thing that creates this type of emotions. Why? Because walking away a lot of the times when they like you is unexpected and it creates a certain sense of heartbreak and that heartbreak makes people gravitate towards you you become a threat you threaten their self-esteem you walking away lowers their self-esteem and so naturally the brain will see you as a threat their amygdala the, the reticular activating system will start to zero in on you like a missile that zero in on a target and it'll cause them to all of a sudden just start chasing more. Like if you walk away from someone who you think is cold, you might be surprised that all of a sudden you start to see them become more emotional at the thought of you walking away. It, it's always like that, people. I don't know what to tell you guys, right? Um, the next thing that does it is, is hints of coldness, little hints of coldness, not coldness like, like a freaking Terminator, right? But that when they look at your face, they can sense that you're willing to walk away. Your behavior, your demeanor, the way you behave, they can sense that there's a part of you that is willing to suffer if you disrespect them. There's a part of you that is willing to leave someone they really love if they get disrespected. And it's not that they don't feel warmth from you, but they also equally sense that there's another side to you. How do you do that? Well, first of all, one, you tell people stories of you walking away, right? Literally. Two, when people do fuck up, you tell them they fucked up, you have boundaries, you let them know, and you let them know that if they do that again, you will leave. Those things create an aura of coldness. Like literally, just doing that creates an aura of coldness, right? And, uh, and above all, that you just mentally prepare yourself not to forgive everything. And the way you do that is you just focus on this. Give people one chance. There are mistakes that people make that they deserve one more shot. Maybe they were cold, maybe they were distant, maybe they don't give you what you want right and you leave they come back begging emotionally and then you give them one more shot from that moment on from that moment on i can promise you there is a certain level of coldness they're gonna sense from your warmth and that will come across as confident you could be as needy as fuck as you want as long as they sense that coldness there's strength behind that behind the warmth right now, the next thing that you guys have to do is creating impatience. Impatience is another way to get people to become emotional, right? Um, people could be calm and, 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 and collected around you, right? As soon as you make them wait, you notice emotions start to arise, uncontrollable emotions, especially if they are... Um, this happens to guys more often, especially if they're thrill seekers, um, especially if they like to control a lot. Impatience is one of those, those emotions that they usually try to run away from. So then one of the ways you do that is, like, like I said, first of all, in the beginning, you're just not available all the time. You have a certain level of unavailability, right? Um, you, you, that's why I tell you, every week, you add one more day they can see you. In other words, first week, once a week. Second week, second week once or twice a week. Third week, once or three times a week. Fourth week, three or four times a week. You increase it over time, right? And that gradual progression will always create a sense of wanting to see you, right? Um, and also, if they, if they cancel dates, for example, 
I always tell people, if you're meeting people and they cancel, don't let don't let them see you next the next day or, or the, in a few days. Let them see you in two weeks, right? Let them wait when they cancel. Let them wait when you're noticing that they're not putting effort. That will reveal to you whether or not what they're doing is a game, whether or not what they're doing is a strategy. Because if they're applying a strategy, one of the things that people who are applying strategies don't have is patience, right? Because a lot of the times they're applying these strategies with their fingers, holding, holding on to their fingers, hopefully, hopefully that it works. So a lot of you guys have been asking me, how can I purchase all of your courses in one go? Well, if you guys want to purchase all of them, you guys can join the Mindful Attraction University, people. Yeah, that's right. And in this, you'll be able to access all of my courses for three ninety nine. dollars Initially, if you purchase all of my courses, Emotional Mastery, Psychological Game of Attraction, my new course, The Feminine Woman, Natural Chemistry, Charisma Blueprint, Nice Girl, you guys can purchase all of it for $600. But with the bundle deal, you guys can purchase it for $3.99. Or you guys can purchase it in three easy payments of $125, people. Yeah, that's right. Or you guys can purchase it with the bonuses. So you, not only do you get the courses, but the bonuses. And that comes down to $7.99. Or four easy and mindful payments of $1.99. Now, these bonuses are not regular bonuses. These bonuses are legit, almost like courses within a course, right? So you guys can just click on the description down below and explore the types of bonuses. For example, I have bonuses on how to get over your ex, um, how to become more creative, um, how to, well, especially in the feminine woman, I have a bonus about how to penetrate their mind and how to speak in a way that gets people to do what you want them to do. Like it's honestly one of the craziest sections that I've ever made because most of these courses people are, I come up with those ideas in meditation retreats. Nobody goes to the extent that I go. I go to meditation retreats to create these courses. There's a 14 day money back guarantee. If you don't like it, just ask me for the money back within 14 days and I'll give you all the money back. Father Alex has never rejected a money back um, offer if I offered it. So, and if you guys already purchased one of my courses, for example, and you guys wanna get the bonuses while getting a discount, you know what I'm saying? I have discount codes for people who purchase my courses. So if you purchase my courses, just send me a private message. Or if you work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'll give you a big discount for the courses. And there I can help all of you guys. Understand that this is a movement. Most people never knew this type of knowledge before. And I am trying to empower women across the world and liberate them from these negative and one-sided relationships through these courses. So hopefully you guys can spread the message and help other people out. And I'll see you guys inside. Or else, I'm closing it.